I love reading this book, Think and Grow Rich. Look at it. Covers coming off it. It's falling apart. Pages are literally falling out of it. And you know, it's um, it's probably one of the best books that I've ever picked up. It's the first book I picked up. And it's the one that got me to change the direction of my life. In there, he says, the imagination is the most marvelous, miraculous, inconceivably powerful force the world has ever known. Now, the imagination is the mental faculty out of which visions arise. Visions, pictures that we build in our mind. Most people don't use their imagination constructively. Most people use their imagination destructively. They imagine what they don't want. We've got to consciously and deliberately imagine what we do want. If we will take and sit down with a pen and ask ourselves, what do I really want? What do I really want? And write it down. And then make a written description of it in the present tense. Writing causes thinking. Thinking creates an image. And you get these images going, you're building a vision in your mind. It's the visionaries that's changed the world. Think of that. The fact that I can sit and look into this camera and you can sit and look at me on your phone or on your TV or on your laptop. That was the result of somebody's vision. Do you know everything you've got, the clothes you wear, the house you live in, this microphone that's in front of me, it was all the result of somebody's vision. It's not an accident. You and I have a marvelous imagination. And everything starts with a vision. Van Gogh was asked how he did such beautiful work. He said, first I dream my painting, and then I paint my dream. What do you want to do in your life? Where do you want to go? What do you want to make happen? What do you want to make happen for between now and the end of the year? Think about it for a moment. Don't think of why you can't. Doesn't matter how much money you've got. Doesn't matter how much help you've got. Build a vision of what you would like to accomplish between now and the end of the year. And then make a written description of that vision. Paint the picture with words. You can go either way with this. You can start writing the picture and it'll come on the screen of your mind. Or build a picture and then paint it with words. Vision. Vision is going to direct your life if you let it. Use it constructively. See what you want. Don't spend any time thinking of what you don't want. When you get a picture in here, make it big, make it beautiful. You'll be glad you did. Check us out at proctorgallagherinstitute.com for tips, tools, and resources.